Hi guys, so for our geography today, we are going to do this puzzle. This is called a crossword puzzle, and um, you have to match the answers. Uh, they have to go, they have to be the proper answers because the letters that join have to be the same letter. You see like for two down and two across, this letter has to be the same for each word. So we're going to start. The first question is going to be for two across. So it's going to be for here, okay? So let's see what, what we're going to do here. All right, the hemisphere where you would find Australia. Remember, we have up here the northern hemisphere. This is the equator, the imaginary line that breaks the earth into two halves, okay? This half is northern hemisphere, and below this imaginary line is the southern hemisphere. So when we look at the map, we have the seven continents, North America, South America, Europe, Asia, Africa, Antarctica, and we have Australia. So which hemisphere is it that Australia is in? It's in the southern hemisphere because it's below the equator. So this whole area is the southern hemisphere. So we go to the puzzle and we need to put in the word southern. So you fill in the squares and it should look like that, southern. The hemisphere where you would find Australia is the southern hemisphere. Number five across, which is right here, the northernmost point on the planet. So let's look at the map. So we have the equator, this imaginary line. And when it says the northernmost, that means the furthest it can go north until it has to stop. So all the way to the top here is the North Pole, right? So the northernmost point on the planet would be the North Pole, right there. So we come over here and we're going to put in North Pole. And you should fill it in like that. North Pole. Then we have six across. So we find six across over here. Six across. Okay, it's tropic you would find in the southern hemisphere. Remember yesterday we talked about the equator, this imaginary line, okay? We also talked about two other imaginary lines. We talked about one in the northern hemisphere called the Tropic of Cancer, and it's this imaginary line. And the other one in the southern hemisphere, which is the Tropic of Capricorn. And it's also an imaginary line. So which tropic would you find in the southern hemisphere. This is the southern hemisphere. This is the equator and anything south of that is the southern hemisphere. So we would find the Tropic of Capricorn. So we're going to come over here to number six and we're going to write in Capricorn. And all the spaces need to be filled in and the words need to be spelled correctly. Then we have number seven across. So we find number seven going across. Okay, the question is imaginary line. 
around the center of the earth. Okay, remember what we said, we have three imaginary lines, but in the very center we have one imaginary line, and it's called the equator. Okay, so number seven, seven across, we're going to spell equator. All right, you guys following along? Now we are to the ones that go down. That means they are starting up and going down. So number one, down. Where is it? It's over here. One down. The question is, the hemisphere where you would find North America. Let's take a look at the map. The hemis hemisphere where you would find North America. Where is North America? We have the Australia, Asia, Europe, Africa, South America, and North America. So which hemisphere is this whole area? It's the northern hemisphere. So, number one, down. The last letter should be an N. Is it going to work? Northern. Yep, it works. All right, two down. Two down is right here, going down. And look, we have two letters that have to match. So what is it going to ask us? The southernmost point on the globe. All right, we have this picture again. The southernmost means from the equator, the furthest it can go south. And it has to stop at some point. So the very farthest south means the southernmost. So the southernmost point on the globe is the South Pole. Okay, so look at this. Let's see if it fits. It sure does. South Pole. And these two letters match up perfectly. All right, so number three, continent you would find in the southern hemisphere. So we have three down. That's over here, three down. Let's take a look at the map. It's The question is, the continent you'd find in the southern hemisphere. Now, the southern hemisphere, look at it only has three different complete continents. Actually, it's got four. It's got South America, Africa, Australia, and this is covered up, but it's Antarctica. Okay, remember that? So, Let's see which one will fit. Uh, we have to make it fit here. Which one has a C in it? Let's go back and look. Oh, and it's a long one. Um, South America, it has a C, but I think it's still too long. Okay, Africa also has a C here, but it's too short. Australia doesn't have a sea. So down here, Antarctica, let's see if that one will fit. Let's take a look. Yep, Antarctica. It fits. All right. So now we go to four down. And that's this one right here. It's a short one. All right. So the question is, first name of the explorer who first reached the South Pole. Okay, so this guy, 
is the very first guy who went to the South Pole. He was the very first one ever. And somebody like that is called an explorer. They go places where nobody else has been. This guy's name was Roald Amundsen. Okay, so what is his first name? It is Roald. So let's go over here and we have four down. Let's see if it'll fit. Sure enough, it fits. All right, so then we have number five down continent you would find in the northern hemisphere. Here it is, five down. All right, the continent you'd find in the northern hemisphere. First of all, let's go back. It needs to have an R in it, and it's not very long. One, two, three, four, five, six letters, okay? So North America, so we're in the Northern Hemisphere, okay? North America has way too many letters. Europe, it has six letters, but it needs to have a certain one that it doesn't have. And Asia is too short, so I'm thinking maybe Africa? What do you think? Let's take a look. It needs to have an R. Well, actually, Europe would work. So would Africa. So really, both of these ones would work because E-U-R-O-P-E or A-F-R-I-C-A. -A. So I picked Africa, but Europe also would work. Okay. So then we have number five. We did five down. Okay, now number six, tropic in the northern hemisphere, which is right here. This is six down. And the northern hemisphere, remember, this is the equator. And we have two tropics. They're, all three of these are imaginary lines. So the one in the northern hemisphere is the Tropic of Cancer. Okay, so here it starts with a C. Is it going to fit? Sure is. Tropic of Cancer. All right, and the last one again. We did do this one, but in case you missed it, the imaginary line around the Earth. What is it? What is it? Who can remember? It is the equator, and it fits right there, okay? So you see how this puzzle works. The words have to fit together going across and going down. They all have to line up, and when they do, you know you've done it right. So I hope you've got them all filled in as we went through that together. Take a picture and send it to me when you're done.